Hi all, I hope you are doing good. Welcome in the series of Solution Architect Exam Dump. I have gone through many questions, more than 2000, but I found that 300 are the relevant and most frequently it is coming in AWS exam. And uh, this selected 300 questions I have covered in the YouTube videos. And uh, one video I am covering only one question, so you must have to go, go through with all these 300 questions. And uh, if your basics are clear, and if you have gone through these 300 videos, then um, I think 30 minutes would be good enough to attempt 65 questions. Uh, and uh, you can attempt all these questions correctly. And the main thing is that which I'm going to cover in the all videos is like that, uh, the simple trick, how to find the hint in the questions and how to get, get rid of the wrong answers. So let's start with the first question. I have just, uh, uh, mention it here in my PowerPoint that uh, related to that Amazon Redshift cl cluster. So the question is saying that a solution architect is designing an application that will encrypt all data in Amazon Redshift cluster, which action will encrypt the data at rest. So if just I'm going to find out the hint, so the first hint is like that, all data you need to encrypt and uh, it is mentioned as rest. So there are the two hints which you need to uh, highlight it or you need to underline it when you are in the exams. And you can also highlight uh, Amazon Redshift cluster so it is relevant to your database. Now the thing is like that data which is there into your Amazon cluster, it is in rest and it needs to be encrypted and all data must have to be encrypted. So we can just start with the first answer that is mentioned like that place the Redshift cluster in the private subnet. So obviously this is the wrong answer because private subnet is not related to encryption of your data. It is just providing the isolation to you from the another subnet and uh, you can have your strategy like how you can provide the isolation layer from the internet or from the restrict access you can provide to the other subnet by using the net and other uh, private connectivity. So obviously this is not related to the encryption, so you can mention it wrong. Second, use the AWS KMS default customer key. It looks okay to me. We will jump uh, later on with this question. So we are not marking as wrong. Encrypt the Amazon EBS volume. So obviously this is the wrong answer. The reason is like that uh, Amazon Redshift cluster is man fully managed by the AWS where it is not like that you can uh, attach uh, EBS volume by uh, yourself and uh, making it encryption that is not possible at all. So when we are spawning the Amazon Redshift cluster, it is fully managed by the AWS and it is coming along with its own volumes. Now if you will see the D, it is saying that encrypt the data using uh, SSL TLS. So this is again wrong answer. The reason is that uh, we are looking for rest encryption on the rest and uh, it is talking about the data in travel, data is, data is in transit. So, of course, the right answer is the B. So, this is the most like a uh, very cool strategy when you are in the exam, then you no need to read the question again and again, the completely just highlight what is the hint. And then after that, you can uh, try to get rid of the wrong answer, but make sure that you are trying to find out the correct answer by going through all the answer. So let's meet on the next question in the next video. I hope you like my video. If you are, uh, if you want to subscribe me, just, just click on the subscribe button and uh, please give us like. Thank you. Thank